But first, we have um, a, a young guest over here, and we'll get to your questions in just a second. Perry, why don't you come up? Perry's a nine-year-old film critic. He's the youngest film critic. He's been um, on all the networks here, and he wanted to ask a few questions uh, as well. Go ahead, Perry. Thank you. Thank you. What inspired you to make this movie? Well, the both on the positive side, the kindness of Chinese people toward me and my good experience, and on the negative side, the ignorance of a lot of people in America who needed to be more aware and educated about China. Yeah, just like when you said that they give their opinion even though the, when they don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> well, the Americans, they make these spicy Asian chicken, and you know, <laughs> spicy Asian chicks? What spicy Asian chicken? chicken. Spicy chicken. Asian chicken. chicken. What do I? I have no idea. I, I think that's not really Asian. <laughs> no, and uh, some of these spicy tuna roll and and I've I lived in Japan for ten years too. There's no mayonnaise with your sushi. I know. There, you shouldn't have mayonnaise with your sushi. <laughs> Either, right? And also, since you're a businessman, what do you like better? Filmmaking or business? I'm a, I'm a binny man, huh? Binny man. <coughs> um, of course, uh, doing something like this where uh, you know, being able to, to open up one's heart and share things, of course, this is extremely gratifying. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's difficult to make a living in, uh, in, in this business. So, um, but you know, every time I show the movie, it's, it's you know, I kind of know when people are going to laugh now, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when Mrs. Ma, that last one, uh, are those subtitles? <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. I mean, that's, that's like the last big laugh in the film almost. But yeah, filmmaking is great. Uh, business stuff, you know, I, I can operate in a business environment. But two things about business. You wonder, and I like Chinese clothes. I didn't wear my, my lovely Chinese kind of tunic today, but... You think about two things about Western business. I thought you said there's no mayonnaise with your tuna. There's no mayonnaise with my tuna. That's what I said. Hold on just for a sec. <laughs> you think about business. Why, you know, why do you have to wear a tie? With, you cut off oxygen to your brain. You know, who invented a tie? That's one thing. And then I just actually started working again. And so Monday morning, I will be in a cubicle. And you know, a cubicle can, can do stuff with your soul if you, if you let it. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a very inspiring place, so you gotta, you gotta do you know, your fun things too when you can. Are you going to make any other films? I hope to make more films. Uh, yes, both maybe in five, six years following them up. And, uh, well, when, yeah. when are you going to make another film about the kids? Maybe in five or six years. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Perry. Are okay. you going to make one of them when they're old men? When they're old men? Well, I mean, I, you know, we'll see. As long as I keep, you know, if I keep healthy, it would, okay. you know, I would try to move. Living in San Diego is a lot more healthy than China, so I hope I can come and see Leanne in a couple of years. That's and have your first time film. here. You were in Balboa Park and joined. I was laughing because he was like, it's so weird to be in San Diego where there's all these Asian people who, who are not speaking in Chinese to you. I took him out for, um, for dinner um, the first night at Applebee's, and what does he order? He orders the Oriental chicken salad. <laughs> I went, I, went, I went to Torrey Pines today and walked there. Be you know, beautiful. San Diego, yeah. much more manageable than L.A., right? I mean, San Diego's like, you can have a community here, it seems, uh, right. which, which it seems you which are. Which we have created, yes. You and you are a leader of it, so I'm very yeah, thank honored you. and happy Shishia. to be here. Shishia. We had a question over here, ma'am. How did you learn the language? Well, I, uh, I studied as a freshman in college and had a very good professor and then went to an intensive summer program at Middlebury College in Vermont, which still is probably one of the best, if not the best in the US for intensive language. And then I was in China for about a year in 1981. And uh, China was a great, and one thing about this film for anyone who studies Chinese or Chinese people, everyone speaks great Mandarin because they're all from Beijing. You know, this is the way it should be spoken. Um, and so luckily in 81, um, Chinese number one, Chinese were not busy people in 1981. You know, they had time to uh, come to my house and drink tea and you could just uh, 
talk all day. I mean, Chinese today are busy. They're trying to make money and make a living, and so they don't have much time to talk to you anymore. But back then, not only uh, did I have a lot of friends, but a lot of these people were about 10 years older than me. The, they were people who had been sent to the countryside during the Cultural Revolution and came back, and were, they were very cynical people because you know they were sent 15 years old to the countryside to you know, literally shovel crap with the with the peasants and spent like you know five eight years of their